Well, good afternoon, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 13th, 2017. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. God bless you all, and thank you for joining me today. I know it's been a few days since my last upload. I needed a couple days off, really need to rest my head and uh, take care of some things, and I appreciate you for tuning in today. And I, again, I apologize for not being up there for my daily uploads. But from here on in, I will be as I concentrate on world weather and severe weather events around the world. This temperature reading in northern Russia towards the end of the week will be dipping down to minus 51 without the wind chill towards the end of the week and we can expect these cold temperatures to keep invading our northern hemisphere breaking records around the world for instance Bangladesh very cold temperatures northern India northern Iraq we had snow in the Saharas over this past little week been a very busy week I've actually been following a lot of other channels um, watching these events unfold as people are producing their videos of snow in the Saharas um, snow avalanches across the world rising rivers and frozen land as we're looking at Minus 50 or more in northern Russia towards the end of the week. Or sorry, towards midweek, Wednesday. Looking over the Pacific Ocean right now. This is later in the week. As of that very large system, as I said, week after week, the same thing happens. So this is right now. Moving into the Alaskan Peninsula breaking apart, creating other low pressure systems and taking the same path too big, too vast to make it over the Rocky Mountains. Into next week we can expect cold temperatures right across North America. Freezing temperatures dipping all the way down to Texas, New Mexico, course Florida very strong and dominant high pressure ridges coming straight from the North Pole overlooking Europe the next few days very large low pressure system this is actually uh, part of the system that swept across the northeastern seaboard two weeks ago it was stalled over Greenland and then two more low pressure systems joined with it. So Northern Europe expecting a very cold week next week, a lot of snow and a lot of wind associated with this large low pressure system heading across Europe. We've got extreme cold temperatures in Africa as well to report. 
tropical cyclones developing every other day along the equator off of Indonesia and heading down into Madagascar again following the same path. And that's it for major systems and concerns from around the world. Our biggest thing is the temperatures as we are dipping down to minus 51 in northern parts of Russia. And we can expect that polar vortex to make its way around into North America the week afterwards. And of course, we'll give you a small update for earthquakes around the world. Of course, this is just the last 24 hours, but I have missed four days of earthquakes. Yesterday, 5.9, Papua New Guinea. Deep earthquake, New Zealand, as most recent. 5.2 in Alaska. Those are the largest earthquakes in the last 24 hours. 5.9, 5.2. Uh, we had a 2.6 on the border of Canada and the United States in Montana. 3.2. Oklahoma, most likely fracking. And then we're also going over here where we're still receiving aftershocks in Turkey. And 4.6 the Mediterranean. And some regular plate movement in Indonesia. This is the last four days for earthquakes around the world. Again, I apologize that I haven't been uh, updating as much as I should be, which is every day. And thanks again for watching today. We've had a lot of deep earthquakes in the last four days. Tonga region and Japan, the Philippines plate. We had a 7.6 Guatemala, and I reported on that. And then we also had this earthquake swarm in Iran. And earthquake swarm in Burma after the 6.0 earthquake. And we have another coronal hole stream turning towards Earth over the next few days, so we're going to be expecting solar wind streams to, exp to increase, therefore earthquakes will increase. So that's the last four days for earthquakes, folks. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate all of your viewership. I appreciate all the new subscriptions and welcome to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world, monitoring weather, space weather, and earthquakes. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye.